Huh? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good. It's good to, um, to meet you. Hello, we have Erica. And uh, hello. Hi, how are you, Erica? Hi, fine. Good, 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 good. I'm happy to hear that. Good. And um, I said hi to, is it Ailey? Ailey? Michelle? How do, you, how do you pronounce your name? Ailey, Michelle. Good evening. Good evening. Um, so it's, do you like Ailey or Michelle? Ailey. Okay, wonderful. All right, good, um, good to meet you, Ailey. And Janet, how are you, Janet? I'm okay, miss. Good, good. Do you like Janet or Janita? I prefer Janet. Janet, okay, okay, perfect. All right. I also have Vanessa. How are you, Vanessa? Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, and you? Good, good, excellent. Uh, Vanessa, are you, do you have two, uh, two devices? Because I see that uh, there's another Vanessa Lopez connected. I keep in it. Um, eso estoy viendo que tengo un problema en el computador y me conecté desde el teléfono. Ahorita me salgo. Oh, okay, okay, que, que está en las dos, en los dos, en el computador y en el teléfono. Sí, es que estoy teniendo ah, problemas con el audio desde la computadora. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, and uh, we have a uh, Jenny Goribel. Hello. Hello. Is that is that the, the um? Is that the picture of your daughter? Yes, my daughter. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. I was like, wow, uh, Jenny is very young. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I also have, um, let's see, Yesenia Martinez. How are you, Yesenia? Can you hear me? No? Can't hear me, Yesenia? Or maybe she's having problems with the microphone. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay, well, anyways, um, it's great to finally meet you. How are you today? How is everybody? How is everybody on today, in today's day? Was it a good day today? Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah? Good, good, good. We are in the middle of the week, right? So we're almost finished, right? We're almost finished. Um, well, kind of, right? Um, we're we're fin we're almost um, two more days left of the week. Yeah. Oh, Yesenia says that I guess that her microphone doesn't work. Okay, no problem. That's okay. All right. Well, class, it's um, good to meet you. I guess this is an all girls class, or are there boys in the class? Are there boys in this class? Yes. Yes. Or no? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so maybe they just haven't connected. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, girls. Um, well, um, today, first of all, I wanted to introduce myself. Um, it, first of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about who I am. Um, my name is uh, Jessica Guerrero as I have um, introduced myself in the group, in the WhatsApp group. Eh, por cierto, eh, todos, usted, ¿todos ustedes están en el grupo de WhatsApp? Yes. yes. ¿Sí? Sí. sí. Erika. OK. OK. Sí. Vanessa, también? Sí, ya. Yeah. OK. Ya. Yeah. Eh, Yesenia, are you in the group too? Esa, también me puede poner un, ahí en el chat, sí. Sí, está. Si está en el grupo. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, perfect, excellent. All right, because I'm asking because sometimes I'm going to be sending information through the group and I want to make sure that everybody uh, can see the, the information in the group. Um, so, um, first of all, uh, let me, 
Um, like I said, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Jessica Guerrero, and I have been an English teacher for 15 years. And um, I live in San Salvador. I have lived in San Salvador for um, almost 17 years, mm -hmm, about 17 years. And um, I have one son, he is 12 years old. And um, let me see some of the things that I like. Um, I, my, my favorite color is purple. As you can see in my wall is purple. So that's my favorite color. And um, also, let me see what I can tell you. Um, my favorite, um, my favorite dessert is chocolate. I love chocolate, and I love also um, Coca Cola. It's my favorite drink. I love Coca Cola. And also, let me see what else I can tell you. Um, I love to watch series on Netflix. And I like to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. So that's about me. Do you have questions you want to ask me? Do you have any questions? No, Miss Sol, it's okay. No? You sure? No questions? Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, huh? Sorry, Andy? Not the chair. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you had a question. Okay. All right. Perfect. In that case, uh, well, um, I understand your teacher said that uh, you were um, in section four point, um, I guess, four, uh, you, well, you're starting section number four. Yes. In the platform. Okay, everybody has finished section one, two, three, and the midterm. Have you finished? Yes? Yes. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, so everybody is in, in section number, not number four, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. okay perfect, perfect. In that case, um, Okay, perfect. In that case, what we're going to do is we're going to first, we're going to be learning a little bit about two words uh, that we use um, to talk about uh, things that are countable and uncountable. Okay, so first of all, let's remember a little bit what is countable. Okay, um, I want, I'm going to give you a list of things and I want you to tell me if the word is countable or uncountable. Okay, um, for example, let's start with car. Is car countable or uncountable? Countable. I think it's countable. Okay, very good. All right, excellent. It's, it's, uh, it's countable. We can, we can say, for example, one car, we can say two cars, three cars, four cars, et cetera, et cetera. Mm, what about um, water? Countable or uncountable? Not countable. Uncountable. Everybody agrees uncountable? Yes? Everybody says uncountable? Yes, very good, excellent. Because it's impossible to say, um, for example, we can't say one water two waters, three waters, four waters, okay? I, only in El Salvador, uh, we say, to, when you go to the store, you say, deme un agua, right? Only in El Salvador, we say that sometimes, right? Have you noticed? You say, eh, ah, deme, deme dos aguas, right? But that's not correct because in reality, we don't, we can't count water. We can count the glasses of water. For example, we can say one glass of water, okay? We can say a bottle of water, okay? Um, but we cannot say two waters, three waters, et cetera, et cetera. So it's uncountable, not possible to count. Um, let's um, talk about um, 
Um, let's see, chicken. Chicken countable or uncountable? No, no countable. Uh, depende. Si depends. el chicken está todavía vivo, <laughs> es countable. Pero si está muertecito y cocinadito, es uncountable. Good. Very good, Janet. That's That was actually a trick question. You're absolutely right. It depends, right? If we're talking about the meat, the meat, la carne, then it's uncountable, okay? But if we're counting the animal, it's, you know, for example, I can say in I, my farm, I have five, uh, I have five chickens, right? So it's possible. You can count them. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's see. Mm, sugar. Sugar. Can you count okay. sugar? Okay. Countable or uncountable? Erika, what do you think? Uncountable no. or uncountable? Uncountable. Sugar. Uncountable? Uncountable, okay. Do you agree? Yes, Erica, do you agree? No entendí. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. But um, let me explain. Okay. Let me explain then. Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to use the whiteboard to explain a little bit. Tell me when you can see the whiteboard. Díganme cuando ya pueden visualizar el, la, la pizarra. Can you see, can you see the whiteboard? Yes. Yes? Okay, perfect. All right, so, um, Right, let's let's put it here. We have countable Oh. Okay, countable nouns. And then over here, we have uncountable nouns. Okay. And I'm going to make a line. So, all right, um, Erica, countable nouns are nouns that it's possible to count. So we can say one, two, three, four, okay? To give you an example. This is an example. Okay, um, I'm going to show you markers. These are markers. Okay. All right, these are different markers. So I could say that these markers are countable. We can count. Okay, Erika. So we have one, two, and three. We can count, okay? That is countable nouns, okay? Examples of those nouns, to give you an idea, it would be, for example, we can say pen. I'm going to put in a different color. Um, 
Okay, so we can say pen, um, chair, oops, chair, not cherry, chair, um, eraser, and we can have um, Let's see, um, hmm. we can have, well, we said car, we can have um, banana, banana, uh, we can have um, a tomato, a, we can have, um, let's see, um, TV. Uh, we can say um, radio. Um, we have a, a girl in a dress. Okay, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Got it? Is that clear, Erika? So we can count. We can say, for example, we can say um, four pens. Okay. We can say one chair. We can say an eraser, which means one. We can say five cars. We can say 10 bananas and we can say um, two tomatoes and say three TVs, seven radios, 20 girls, and 12 dresses, okay? All right, so we can count. These are countable nouns. Does that make, that make sense? Yeah, good? Okay, perfect. All right, now, uncountable nouns, we cannot count. Impossible to count, okay? Example. Um, okay, things that we cannot count, for, ex for example, liquid, anything that is liquid, like water. We cannot count water, impossible. We cannot say one water, two waters, three waters, four waters. No se puede decir un agua, dos aguas, tres aguas, cuatro aguas. Can't say that, okay? Or for example, um, soda. Again, it's liquid. We can't say um, uh, soda in general. We can say um, bottles of soda. So, cuatro botellas de soda. Cuatro vasos de soda. Cuatro um, latas de soda, et cetera, et cetera. But we cannot say, we really can't say four sodas. Okay? Uh, or for example, pasta. Pasta, we cannot. We cannot count the pasta, okay? No, uno no, 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 no dice, sí, yo, yo como eh, 20 pastas, right? Okay, not possible. The same thing with beans, okay? Do you understand beans, Erika? Beans, frijoles? Yeah, okay, so beans, we can't say beans, no? You don't, you don't go, you don't say, yo como, Yo como diez frijoles, right? Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> yeah, impossible. You can't say yo como diez frijoles. Uno dice yo como frijoles. So it's, it's you don't count them. No se pueden contar. Okay? All right. And then we have, um, for example, a, let's say paper. Okay? Paper, pa el papel. No se cuenta, ¿verdad? Eh, se puede contar hojas de papel, se puede contar um, 
uh, tiras de papel, etc., etc. But you can count paper. It's not possible to count paper, okay? Uh, or for example, um, uh, oxygen. Oxygen, we can't count oxygen, okay? El oxígeno, can't count it. Um, we can't count it. money. You can't count money. You, you understand money? Right, money? Okay. Eh, muy, muchos se, se quedan así diciendo, hey, no se puede contar el dinero. Pues no, no se puede contar. Think about it. Uno dice, tú me debes siete dineros. No, right? You can't say that, right? Tú me debes siete dineros, no. You say, tú me debes dinero, period. But you don't say, um, you owe me seven money. So the money cannot be counted. We can count, we can count the bills, dollars, coins, okay? But we can't count money, okay? Um, or for example, rice. Rice, el arroz, we can't count rice, okay? Impossible. Um, now, meat, for example, beef, okay? Beef, beef, el carne de res, we can't count it impossible and now the other thing that we were talking about was chicken oops sorry chicken so the thing about chicken is that if we're talking about the meat the meat of the chicken la, la carne right the meat of the chicken we cannot count it but if it's talking about the animal if we're talking about the animal we can we can count the animals, okay? We can say that there are, um, for example, eight chickens. I have eight chickens. Okay, do you understand? Indica, is it clear? See? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Me interesa mucho de que, de que todos lo entiendan, porque si alguien no lo entiende, por favor pregunte, right? It's very, very important. O sea, todos, todos tienen que, que entender. Así que no solamente porque la mayoría entiende, pues ya sigamos adelante, ¿verdad? O sea, me importa que toditos entiendan, ¿ok? So, chicken can be countable if it's the animal, ¿ok? So, this is referring to the animal. Okay, this is the animal. And, um, but over here, we're not talking about the animal. Over here, we're talking about the meat. Okay, is that clear? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. yes. excellent. Okay, so, that's a little bit about countables and uncountable. I wanted to make sure everybody understood this, okay? All right, uh, so I'm going to stop sharing. I'm also ahead of. Okay, now, oh, we have somebody else, Salvador. Hello, Salvador. Salvador, are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, hi. Hi, Salvador. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hola. Hi. ¿Me escuchas? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Okay, good, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Hi. Okay, excellent. Um, okay. So what we're going to do right now is um, we are going to now learn a little bit about um, another two structures that we use with um, with countables and uncountables. Okay. Um, so I'll show you. 
Can you see this? De Déjenme saber cuando ya lo pueden ver. Yeah. Yeah, teacher. Yes? Okay, perfect. Okay, good. So right now we're going to be talking about the structure. Uh, this is the structure some and any. Or better said, this is the the the, the quantifier some and any. Okay. So some and any we use we use some when we want to talk about affirmative sentences. Okay. So some you can use for countable or uncountable. The two are possible. Okay. Example. There are some flowers. There are some flowers in a vase on the table. He needs some medicine. Okay? So, if you notice, if you notice, um, the flowers, the sum goes before the noun flowers and before medicine. Flowers is countable. We can count flowers. Se pueden, la, la flor se pueden, se pueden contar, right? Okay, so we can count flowers. Now, medicine. Eh, medicine is not possible to count. La medicina no se cuenta, okay? Eh, so, he needs some medicine. So we say, um, so, now how do you say some in Spanish? How would you say that? How do you say some in Spanish? Do you know? Eh, algunos. Algunos. Algunos, okay. Uh -huh. Algunos o algunas. Uh -huh. Okay. So there, this would say something like, hay algunas flores en el jarrón en la mesa. Algunas flores. He needs some medicine. Él necesita algo de medicina. Okay? So, you can use for countable or uncountable. Now, the exception to the rule is this. Some can also be used in questions. So, we can use this one for questions. Um, Four questions. Okay, so we can use some for questions. Okay, uh, why questions? If you are offering something to someone or asking for something by thinking that the answer is yes or for hopes for such an answer. So, sí. in otras palabras, se puede usar el, el some cuando. Se está ofreciendo algo. Okay? So when you're offering something. Okay? Or when you're asking something by thinking that the answer is yes. Okay? If you think that the answer might be yes, change that. Mm. So if you think that the answer is going to be yes, okay, then you can you can you can use it. Okay? Is that clear? Yes, no? Offering is ofrecer. Ofrecer exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No me sale bien. Quiero hacer una. Bueno, más o menos. Okay. But you think that the answer is yes. So you can use some when you're offering something. Se está ofreciendo algo. O it's a question that you think, you think the answer is yes. Okay. Example. 
Would you like some coffee? Would you like some coffee? How would you say this in Spanish? Would you like some coffee? ¿Le gustaría un poco de café o algo mm -hmm. de café? Exactly. ¿Le gustaría? Uh -huh. In Spanish, we say, ¿le gustaría un poco de café? Okay, that's how you say in Spanish. In English, we say some. Okay, and es una fe, un, usted está ofreciendo algo. Y usted espera que la persona, pues, le, o, le diga que sí. ¿Verdad? No le va a ofrecer café y esperando que le diga que no. ¿Verdad? O por lo menos no es lo, lo usual, ¿verdad? Okay, so you offer and you think, ah, I think the person is going to say yes. Okay? Yeah, is that clear? Is that claro? Yes. Yeah, okay. So remember, remember that, um, remember that some can be, um, it can be before, uh, sorry, it can be, yeah, it's before, countable, or uncountable. Okay. No, um, not countable. Yeah, it, it, coffee is non-countable. You're right. Coffee, coffee, you cannot count coffee. Okay. But you can put it, you can say, um, would you like some? And, and you, it doesn't have to be coffee. It could also be, for example, I could say, would you like some, thank you, Ed, would you like some, or can we count? Would you like some, uh, cookies? Okay, you can say, would you like some cookies? And you cookies, you can count. You know cookies, right? You, you know cookies, right? Yes? Todos saben que significa cookies, ¿verdad? Yeah? yeah? Okay. No. No? Cookies son galletas. Okay? So we can, yeah. so if you notice, cookies is count is countable. Okay? We can count cookies. So it's for both. Okay, you can use um, some for questions for countables or uncountables. Uncountable is coffee and cookies is countable. Se, se puede usar para los dos. Okay, so is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yeah, any questions? No? Okay, good. All right, let's go now to any. Okay, now we're going to look at any. Any is the same thing. It's exactly the same idea as, um, as some, but this is for negative. Okay, so, para que no se me vaya confundiendo. So, some is for positive. Okay, and any is for negative sentences. So some positive sentences, any negative sentences. Okay. All right, now, uh, for example, we can say, um, there aren't any students in the school. So we have any, there aren't any students in the school. I don't want to drink any fruit juice, okay? And again, if you notice, a, any is for countables, students you can count, les estudiantes se pueden contar, and uh, any is after also is before fruit juice. Fruit juice is um, jugo, right? Jugo frutal or, or, mm -hmm. or jugo natural. Mm -hmm. So um, we can't count fruit. 
uh, for juice. We can't count it. So, and you can use it for both countable or uncountable, okay? But what is important here, the important thing in this one is that we use it Okay, but what's important here is that we use it with negatives. For example, aren't. Okay, that's negative. Or don't want. Don't want is also negative. So we can use any with negatives. Okay? All right? We can also use any with questions. That is another, another way that we can use it with questions. Con preguntas. Oh, hold on. Okay, so we have with questions. Okay. And example, do you have any bread in the house? He hasn't received any emails yet. Okay. So this is a, uh, okay. This, these are the questions. Um, so we have any. Okay. Um, okay, and the bread is non-countable. Okay, bread is uncountable and emails is countable. Okay, so we can use it for questions. Now there is an exception, an exception. Any can be used, it can only be used in positive sentences if it is used with conjunctions such as if and whether. Si se puede usar con afirmativos. So with positive. It's possible. It's possible to use it with positives. Positive sentences. But only, only use it if we use if and whether. So only use with if and whether. Okay? Is that clear? So for example, we'll always help you if you have any problems or troubles. Solo, uh, Oh, siempre, um, siempre te ayudaremos si tú tienes algún problema o algún problema o inquietud. Ok. Got it? Yeah. So that, that is a, an exception to the rule. Okay. No puedes explicar esa excepción en español, no entiendo muy bien en inglés. Ah, eh, es que se puede usar, se, lo, se puede usar any con positivo, porque any ya vimos que se usa con negativo y con preguntas. El que se usa con positivo es con some, es some, ¿verdad? Sí, pero eh, sí se puede hacer en positivo si se usa después de las palabras if or whether. If or whether significa como en español sí. Okay, sí. Like, so, example, this one says here, we'll always help you if you have any problems or 
fabulous. Entonces, en español sería de, siempre um, te ayudaremos si, si tú tienes algún problema en que tú. Si tú tienes. Right? So, that, that is a possibility. Okay, that's an exception. Okay. But that, and that's okay. a, that, this is not a question and it's not negative, but it's affirmative. Okay, is that clear, Erica? Sí. Yeah? Sí, thank you. Good. Yes. Good, good. Any other questions? Alguien más tiene preguntitas? No? Amy, cuando se ocupa para preguntas, no importa que la respuesta sea en, en positivo. Vanessa, can you repeat again? Que cuando se pregunta con la palabra Amy, no importa que la respuesta sea en positivo, como son. No, because you say, do you, for example, uh, do we have any bread in the house? Tenemos algo de pan en la Algo de pan en la casa? And you say, no, we don't. No, no tenemos, no tenemos pan. O oh, tenemos algo de pan. Right? So it's okay. The answer, it, it's independent. It's, the answer can be affirmative or negative. It doesn't matter. It's okay. All right? Does, okay. does, that, answer your, does that answer your question, Vanessa? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. What you're going to do right now, you're going to think about, in this moment, think about your um, your refrigerator. Okay? Piensen en su, ref su refri. Okay? Y, pues, digo, piensen en la refri para que puedan uh, ubicarse, ¿verdad? Porque no necesariamente tienen que pensar en lo que tiene en la refri, pero pueden ubicarse, okay? Ahí con, con eso. I want you to make questions. Make questions for a partner. You can make questions, for example, I can, I'm going to write an example on the, um, by, um, I'm going to write here. Si lo, escriben, si lo escribo acá, si lo, lo miran, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Sí. Okay. So you can say, for example, do you have any um, milk? Or you can ask, um, do you have some eh, beans. Okay, so I can ask these questions. I can make these questions to my partner. Okay, so you can say, do you have some milk? Tienes, tienes leche? Or do you have some beans? Tienes frijoles? Okay, so if you can, if you notice, I used, I used two different, um, I used two different, I, okay. Voy a cambiar el color porque así ya no se mira. Voy a cambiar el color, Más o menos. ¿Lo logran ver? No, oh, ya sé lo que voy a hacer. Lo voy a hacer así. Ah, ahí estamos. A ver si lo miran bien, ¿verdad? Ok, so, do you have any milk? Do you have some beans? Ok, so, I'm using... Um, I'm using the different, for example, do you have any milk? It's for a question, right? Do you have any milk? So I use any. 
And so that's for our question, any questions. And then, but this one I used, if you notice, I used some. You have some beans. Y the reason why I asked you have some beans, tienes algo, tienes algo de, de, de frijoles, es porque yo casi estoy segura que, yo espero que me respondan que sí, porque en la casa de todo buen salvadoreño tiene que ver frijoles, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo me imagino que me van a contestar que sí, y por eso le puedo poner some. ¿verdad? I can say, do you have any beans? That's okay. But I expect people to say, do you have, uh, I expect people to say yes. So I say, do you have some beans? Do you understand? Yeah? Okay, yeah. so right now I want you to make five questions. Five questions for your partner. You can ask me questions if you want. Pueden preguntarme lo que necesitan. So we can uh, uh, question you here. You can ask me here, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any tomatoes? Oh, 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 you will, will. see, no, no, pensé, no, no. Okay, just uh, give me a moment, give me a moment. Um, pensé que okay. me estaba diciendo que se me podía hacer preguntas en este momento. No, but just right now, I just want, I'm going, I'm going to give you time right now. I'll give you, okay. I'll give you one more minute to finish five questions. Okay. 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 All right. Finish? Yes. Okay. All right. What we're going to do, I'm going to give you about, I'm going to give you, well, no, we'll do it here in the class better. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. Voy a dejar de, this is, 
No, no. Digamos, voy, voy a dejar esto eh, eh, para... O, o pre, prefieren... ¿Lo necesitan este, este recuadro mientras hacen las preguntas? No? Ok. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to stop sharing. And we're just going to open the microphones so that everybody can ask each other. Ok. So um, I, want, I want you to go ahead and ask your partner. For example, ok. We'll start with um, uh, Jenny. Jenny, choose a partner and ask them questions. Ok. Yo lo hice para la tercera persona. Does he have some bread? Ok, who do you want to ask? ¿Quién le quiere preguntar? Um, Erika. Does he have some bread? Eh, si tengo pan. <laughs> Does he have some bread? Uh Okay. Eh, What's the answer, Arika? Yes, no? You decide. Creo que respondería he. Yes, he's some. Bread. In, in this case, in this case, you can say um, yes, he does, or yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Okay. Using does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, he does. Okay. Good. Now, Erica, one question. You you say one question <laughs> to somebody else. Okay. Do you have some apples? And who is the question for? Amy. Erika, you choose you choose a person. Who do, who do you want to choose? Is it for Amy? And Jenny. For, for okay. For who? Yes. Para quién era la pregunta? Eli. Ah, okay. Para Eli. Do you have some apples? Eh, yes, I do. Excellent. Eli, you go ahead and choose another person. Um Para Vanessa. Do you have any noodles? Do you have any noodles? I don't know. Okay. No, I don't. What is this? No, no entendí que era lo que no Ah, no dos es. Es. Tallarines. Ah, I don't have. Ok. Uh, yeah, or fideos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, very good. Okay, Vanessa, you ask somebody. Uh, 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 do you have any fruit? No. <clears throat> Uh, 
Uh, no, right I don't now. have. Mm -hmm. Good. And so no, you don't. have somebody. Good. And now you have a question for another person. Um. Do you have some potatoes in the refrigerator? Who is the question for, Salvador? But, um, Vanessa. No, tiene que ser a otra persona que no se le ha preguntado. Yesenia. Okay, Yesenia. Ah, ya me acordé que Yesenia no, no, no tiene su, eh, su micrófono que le funciona. Entonces, eh, you can ask um, Janet or Jenny. Mm, Janet. Yes, I do. Good. And now, Jenny, you, ask, you can ask Jenny. Creo que es la última que nos queda. Okay, Jenny. Do you have some weather? Yes, I do. Good. Bravo. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay. Vamos a seguir con esa dinámica para mañana. So we're going to continue this asking questions. Create five more questions. Quiero que me creen five more questions like this one. And then we're going to continue like this tomorrow, okay? Bueno, chicos, eh, chicos, it's been a great time. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye, okay? me. Bye. 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 Good night.